In this video tutorial, we are going to solve uh, this given uh, cubic equation by using a simple factoring method. So the very first thing what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and split this uh, equation, this cubic equation into two parts. The first part is going to be this one and the second part is going to be this one. Now what I want you to do is look at this, the very first pair. What do you see in common? What could be factored out? As you can see that x squared could be easily factored out. Once you brought x squared outside, what's going to be inside parentheses? That's going to be how much? It's going to be a 5x plus what? 2. Likewise, in the second pair over here, what is in common? As you can see, that's negative 4 is in common. Yes, that's right. And now, what is going to be inside parentheses? That's going to be what? It's going to be 5x plus 2 equals to what? 0. Now, what I want you to look at this thing. This parentheses and these parentheses they are both same isn't it so what we're going to do is i want you to bring these this whatever this one in the parentheses outside so i'm going to write down 5x plus 2 outside and then whatever this thing x square minus 4 over here x square minus what 4 and set it equal to what 0 now, I want you to see one more thing. In the second parentheses, x squared minus 4, we need to take care of that thing. You can put x squared over here. This is what I'm going to write down right up here. x squared minus 4 could be written as what? x squared minus 4 could be written as 2 squared. Now, this is a difference of two squares. I want you to use this formula right up here. So that's going to give you what? This could be written as what? x minus 2 times x plus 2. That means what? The difference of two squares is always equals to what? The product of what? The difference and the sum. So that's what I'm going to put down this thing over here. So I can write as what? 5x plus 2 times what? x minus 2 times what? x plus 2 equals to what? 0. Now since these all these factors are equal to 0, we can split them up easily. So I can write as what? 5x plus 2 equal to 0. The next one is going to be what? x minus 2 equal to 0. And finally, x plus 2 equals to 0. Now, let's take care of the very first equation. I want you to subtract 2 from both sides. This positive 2 and negative 2, they are gone. What we end up with? 5x equals to negative 2. I want you to divide both sides by 5. So what we're going to get? x equal to negative 2 fifth. So that is our one of the solutions. In this case, it's going to be x equal to positive 2 is our solution. And over here, it's going to be x equal to negative 2 is our solution. So thus, we got our three solutions. I want you to just put down thus our solution set is simply what? You just put down these answers. Negative 2 fifth. 2 and what? And negative 2. And that is our answer. Now, the next step, uh, we want to check our answer. So let me show you a super easy way to check your answer. I want you to put down all these, your solution sets, whatever they are. I want you to write down, add them up. So negative 2 fifth plus 2 and then plus negative 2 on the left hand side, they find out whether this is equal to 
minus b over a. This is what I'm going to do this thing. Now you might be wondering what is our a and b. In this one over here, just make sure this is our a, this is our b, this is our c, and this is our what? d. So that means in our case, this is going to be what? So negative b over a is going to be how much in our case? So b is what? N negative and b is 2 over a is what? 5. So that is, we want to see that thing. So that means we're going to see is, so this is negative b over a is what? Negative 2 fifth. And on this side, you can see that this positive 2 and negative 2, they cancel out. So we got what? Negative 2 fifth on this side. Isn't it negative 2 fifth and on the left hand side equals to negative 2 fifth on the right hand side? That means we are checked. That means our answer is right. Thanks for watching.